Welcome to Grace and Lottie's Eliza Beth here. Today we're going to be jumping right into Hey Color. This is an app I found in the App Store that appears to be l- trying to uh, maybe steal a little bit from Happy Color. So let's see if it's as good as or maybe better or not as good as. We'll have to see. It has a 4.7 rating in the App Store. So looks pretty good right there as well as developer responses, which is always great to see. Uh, things look normal. The data used to track you, data linked to you, all of that seems pretty normal for apps. So you may want to uh, dive into that a little bit more to see what you're comfortable sharing. Uh, it has had some recent updates, so that's good to show that it is one that's being updated regularly. This is an app that has to be used in portrait mode. Now, I like it when it can be used in landscape, but this one is portrait. Uh, you can see it's got quite a bit of art, some different styles here going from portraits to some landscapes, animals, different kinds of bits. It's got magic, hard, and special. We'll be diving those in in a little bit. I have done some uh, work on this one. I actually planned on doing a review of this a while ago, but didn't get around to editing it. And then I had some updates. So I was like, okay, we're going to have to start all over. Um, it has premium. It has a story mode, which the story mode is kind of interesting. We'll look at that here. So what happens here is you unlock... Uh, pictures as you go through the story. So I thought that was a neat little way to go through it. Animals, harder ones, and we'll be looking at some of the harder ones as well to see how long those takes. People, magic. Uh, The magic ones typically don't have lines, so it appears out of magic. Specials, which um, are also a different category in this. Uh, Nature, patterns, birds, lifestyle, fantasy, mandalas, fashion, yummy, transport, marine, messages, and for kids. Now, the for kids was kind of interesting because this app does say that it is for all ages. So it is trying to hit a very wide demographic. So I like that they kind of separated the ones that were for kids out there. Now, one thing I noticed is that the art appeared to be a little more simple than it does in Happy Color. It kind of looked like the old Happy Color ones when the app started. Now, as normal, you do get ads. Welcome to (laughs) these apps. There are a lot of ads, and every time you want to color a picture, you are going to be looking for an ad as well as if you want hints. Pretty standard, although we will look at the pricing structure in a little bit because the pricing structure on this one uh, to remove those ads gets a little pricey. So speed up this ad here, and we'll get into the... uh, Oh, never mind. We're done with the ad. (laughs) Oh, we get to choose our burn. Exciting. Uh... What's funny is in the ads, I have seen ads for Happy Color in this app. (laughs) So, a pretty funny thing. So, one thing that this app does by just default is it does auto advance when you've done a color. It also has a tone, which we'll hear in a second. When you color a piece, it gives you a little tone that you've done it. Then it has a different tone when you've reached the last one of that color, so you know it's advancing here just a second looking for that last piece there it is so you can hear those tones that they're slightly different right there it auto advances which i love now i jumped into happy color and i did find in the settings that you can set that as an option as well so that is nice to know that that is there with this now i did several pictures so we're going to speed up and go through those i'll let you see those pictures as well as the times and then i'll get back in just a few minutes to some of the bits and bops of this and what sets it apart or makes it pretty much the same as Happy Color. sweet little bunny I decided to pull up both apps not at the same time obviously it's on one iPad but to do some comparisons between some pictures so I picked two pictures while they may not look similar they had like a similar number of colors and things so I thought that might be a good way to compare and one was a daily pick one was an editor's pick so I kind of felt like they were comparable to each other now if you look 
The art style for the Hey Color is a little bit more simple than the one for Happy Color. Now, the Hey Color picture kind of reminds me of what Happy Color, a lot of early Happy Color pictures. You can see in the time, it took me only 25 minutes to do it. It had 85 colors. The Happy Color took twice as many, twice as long. It has a lot more little areas in there to fill in and had 94 colors, so similar number of colors, but I would say I like the Happy Color one a little bit more here, but we'll dive a little bit deeper into the comparison later. Let's go on to the next piece. The next two to compare was what? Magic in the Hey Color app and Mystery in the Happy Color. Now, these are the pictures that don't have lines. So you don't have too much of an idea what you're gonna get. Hey Color has like a little bit of a preview, whereas Happy Color is just a bunch of question marks. So it's really who knows what you might see here, but I figured this was a good group to compare. Now you can see the one from Hey Color was a lot more intricate. It took me 40 minutes. It had 281 colors. That is a lot of colors. Whereas the Happy Color one only took me 13 minutes. Bigger areas in that one. Now these are some of my favorite types of pictures to color. I find that they actually move pretty fast. So I enjoy these quite a bit. Um, I would say that Hey Color won in this category, um, but again, it could have been totally different just depending on luck of the draw for what I have drawn from Happy Color. So take that with what you will. Let's move on to the next color. This section I debated a little bit about, but after some looking at the colors and the pictures and everything, I decided this was the best way to compare these two. And that's between the hard colors on happy on hay color and the blend colors on or blend pages on happy color. Now, the ones on happy color with the blend, those took forever when I was recording for this video. You can see one hour, 43 minutes. We have one coming up that's even longer than this. Now the hay color was one hour, pretty much right on. Like we're talking like right at 60 minutes and had 249 colors. Now, um, the, the hard ones in hay color, they do have more little areas. They typically have a higher number of colors, so you're hunting around and things like that with it. So they're fun and enjoyable. I actually kind of like the hard ones rather than over the regular ones. Still my favorite are mystery uh, slash blend, or not blend. <laughs> the mystery slash magic ones. Those are still like my absolute favorite. But anyway, uh, I enjoyed these, but you can see, I mean, it just took forever getting the happy color one done in this. And that's why I figured this was the best comparison because it was happy colors, hard mode right there on it. So uh, there's a side by side. I think happy color still wins in this one. Uh, Cause I mean, that's only 167 colors, uh, probably a similar number of small little areas to find, but yeah, that one, that one was challenging. And so if you're looking for a challenge, which is what I would think you were looking for in hard. You can see who the winner is here. Now onto the special and rare pictures. Now in hay color, they're called special. In happy color, they're rare. This is another way to kind of compare them. A lot of the rares you have to unlock on uh, happy color in hay color these specials just kind of pop up. Now, Hay Color has a little more variety in these types of pictures in that they have these glitter pictures that are there, as well as a couple of different art styles. And those different art styles I found a lot of fun because sometimes it looked like a watercolor or collage, other times it looked like an acrylic painting. And I really liked that variance in it. Now, I can say that the painting ones were really difficult. Uh, a lot of times the highlighted areas uh, blended in with areas that had already been done. Like you can kind of see the windmill back in the background. That one looked like there were still highlighted areas and it was hard to kind of figure out where I was going with that. So take that into account in knowing that those are a little more difficult. The glitter pictures are very simple and this app is considered to be for kids as well with that four plus rating versus the 12 plus rating in happy color. So 
those are great ones for kids. Um, again, you saw it took 11 seconds, I think, or something like that. I mean, it was nuts how quickly that one went. Or no, it was 20 seconds, 11 colors on that one. So really fast, really easy. So if you need something quick, that might be one you look for. To really compare the art, I felt it would be good to find some pictures that I could actually get a reference for. Like I could see what they were trying to do, where they were going with it, that kind of thing. So fortunately, both of these had an art category. So I pulled up the art category. Now you can see Hey Colors looks a little more simple. It only took 23 minutes, but still had 249 colors in there. Now their piece uh, looks like a Dutch master, but it's actually from the late 19th century by Edward Liddell. It was a very obscure painting. Now the rest in their art category are hidden behind the paywall as premium. So I wasn't gonna be jumping into those. Now the happy color one, this is the one that took me the most time. Two hours and 15 minutes, only a hundred colors. This one was by a Dutch master, Jan Davids de Heen. Um, it is like, parrots by a richly um, decorated table is or no it's a richly decorated table with parrots you know these these paintings have really good names but looking at the originals that are getting ready to pop up you'll be able to see that because they had they made that one more intricate it looks more like the reference. So I'm gonna say that the art was better. You can see that the one from Hey Color is very simple uh, compared to the reference there. The reference is gorgeous. I mean, that's like, I'm amazed at that level of painting. You can see the table, it's just incredible down there. And just the other one, it's not, or sorry, that, like the original painting. And they just, while they did capture some of those details, it's just, the colors are a little bit off, like you can see in that blue vase there to where you lose a little bit of the moodiness that is gorgeous in those style of paintings. So that is my take. So I think Happy Color wins on art as a whole. We'll be getting into a comparison here in a minute. So let's go look at scorecards. <laughs> Jumping into the scorecard for these apps, I came up with a couple of categories so that we can have a way to like really sit down and say, compare to compare. And I've got art, variety, cost, and feature slash functionality. So in art, we see that happy color. We saw that in the last one, uh, hands down, where we could kind of compare as close as we could apples to apples with that one. And I really think that happy color as a whole takes that one. The next one's variety. Happy Color has 15,000 art pieces on there, on the, in the app. I mean, that's just nuts like to think about. That is a lot of pictures. Uh, hey Color right now is at 10,000. So I think in time it may catch up. I don't know, this is where we are right now. According to their uh, listings in the app stores, their words, it's 15,000 to 10,000. I feel that Happy Color by having Marvel and uh, Disney pictures as well. That helps with the variety. So just kind of take that into consideration when you're looking at these apps. Um, if you are one of those who colors a ton, you know, variety matters and having that back catalog is super useful. Now, if you're a casual one and like 10,000 versus 15,000 isn't a huge deal, again, something you can know that like there is no way I'm going to color 10,000 so why, you know what does it matter but even if you're not going to color all 10,000 knowing that you have more to choose from I think is a big thing to take into account there uh, cost cost was kind of weird with these now if we jump into hay color I pulled up their uh, cost in the app store you can kind of see that they have some craziness going on with it, like a bunch of different prices. And, you know, sometimes it's $3.99, sometimes it's $2.99, there's weekly, there's monthly, there's a, the $7.99. It's like, where is that coming from? And uh, when you go into the app, there's just the one price. And uh, there's the weekly, which like you get a three-day trial and then you get start getting charged $3.99 a week or you can go with a monthly that's like $13.99. Uh, which according also on the app could be $14.99 depending on when you click on it. So uh, 
be ready for that. That is a lot to have to pay monthly for an app. Now, Happy Color, on the other hand, was pretty straightforward with theirs. It has a $7.99 one-time fee to remove the ads. And then each one of their expansion packs is a one-time fee as well, so that you can pick, I want this coloring pack, that coloring pack. And they let you color one freebie in each one of them too, so you can kind of see, is this something that I might be interested in? You can see the pictures there as well, so that you know what you're getting, which I really like. I feel like it's a little more transparent. So for cost, happy color wins. <laughs> Straight down. Now, feature. So we're right at this point. We're at three out of four. Happy Color has won. The last one is features and functionality. So I like the fact that Hey Color was automatically set to auto advance. I really, 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 really like that. When you finish a color, it goes into the next one. You do have the sound going that if you don't have it at full blast, but if you have it like going low, you can kind of, you get that little bit of a sound to know too, to kind of say, hey, we're moving on to the next color. Um, super, super, super useful. Happy Color does have it, but you have to go into settings and turn that on. It has a, says it has a vibrate feature in Happy Color. I play in an iPad, I so I have yet to experience the vibrate feature. So I don't know if on phone, that might be a little bit different. Um, the Hey Color had some different choices as well for uh, how much contrast I had in my highlighted area, which I also liked. I upped that a little bit, made hunting a little bit easier. Still did all of these without clicking any ads so that the times were a little more comparable so that you didn't, like I didn't have, oh, I used an ad, so I did it faster because it found it for you. No, no ads. Um, Happy color also, I've been having an issue with it for a little while where sometimes it gets stuck in a, like zoom in a certain, at a certain zoom level and I can't zoom in or out without exit, exiting the app or like exiting the picture, or playing an ad. I have to do something to kind of reset it. So that docked points there. So hey, color one for me in features. Now, a couple of things to just kind of take into note is they are in very different categories. For some reason, Hey Colors put themselves in the trivia category. Don't know why they are number 40 in that category. They do have a 4.7 rating. Happy Color was number one in board games when I recorded this, but when I checked this morning, they had dropped to number two. So I didn't look to see who took the number one spot. I'm kind of curious now, but they do have a 4.8 rating. So a little bit higher there. So anyway, that is what I have down. It looks like Happy Color wins this battle, but I do not want to write out Hey Color because there is a chance they could come back. I mean, a little better art, a little more things involved. Get rid of that really weird pay structure and maybe we can talk and I may raise your rating. So that is it for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a like. It's super nice. And if you are enjoying the content here, consider subscribing as well. Um, if you want to click the bell notification, I am running a whole lot of stuff. So I would love to say I have a regular upload schedule, but that is not happening right now. So make sure you've got that notification on so you know when new videos come out because they do. Plus I do go live on a regular schedule that's on Saturdays. And I would love to get to hang out with you for the live streams as well. So until the next video.